Welcome back to another episode of Be Our Guest here on Musical Theatre Radio. I am your host, as always, Jean-Paul Yovanov. I've had so many great guests on the program, including uh, Lisa Rubin, the Artistic and uh, Executive Director of the Siegel Centre in Montreal, episode 66. If you want to take a listen to that, just head to the website and click... uh, be our guest podcast and she let me know that uh, they had an upcoming production called super dogs the musical and we're not talking about people in costumes we are talking about actual real life dogs on stage in a musical and i knew when we were close to the production i had to learn more about the show so today we have on the the program the musical director and band leader for the show and let's uh and he's going to talk about the show and let us know all about it i'd like to welcome david terrio to the show david welcome thank you thanks for having me i'm i'm really curious about this show and 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 everything about it but before we get to that i always like to get to know our guests and get the uh, you know our listeners to know who you are so who is david in 30 seconds the 30 second bio of david terrio all right let's let's try this uh i was born and raised in montreal i still live there but i do travel for work uh across the country for uh, mostly in Toronto, but also out east and out west sometimes. Um, yeah, born and raised in Montreal. I went to uh, a CEGEP uh, out east in, in Montreal called Marie-Victorin, so studied classical piano there, and then went on to um, McGill for classical piano as well. And it's during my time, my early years at McGill, that I've discovered mus- music direction specifically for music theater. Um, my teachers were not happy about it, but I pursued that that path and loved it and since I graduated I've been uh, working as an MD, ranger, coach, all the titles that uh, we wear um, in the Canadian theater world. Wonderful, wonderful. I love talking to Canadians and and, you know it's my country so you know anytime I can promote someone from here I'll do what I can. Absolutely. So a a two-part question, were you always into musicals and dogs? How or was was I? Well, you were you always into musicals, and then we say, like, "Are you into dogs?" Right. Well, uh, yes. Short answer is yes. Uh, I'm. I mean, that's my job. I do. You know, I'm surrounded by music theater all the time, and I did grow up with two German shepherds, which are you know big dogs. So like the dog presence was was quite uh, predominant. So uh, so yeah, I love both of them, but it's definitely my first time doing both of them at the same time. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty. I'm curious how many in the world musicals have combined the two. You might be the first. And yeah, maybe Wizard of Oz, but like in a very small version of right. it. Right. Yeah, like like Annie's the got the dog and Wizard of Oz has a dog, but not. It, I'm doubting it's even close to the same. So Not in the same scale, indeed. Nice. Yeah. I, I had a, I had a St. Bernard and a Newfie growing up, so... Uh. That's awesome. I, I love St. Bernard's. They're yeah. adorable. <laughs> they just, anything, I, I don't know. Uh, for me, anything below 100 pounds is, is, is not a dog. Anything below <laughs> 150 pounds isn't a dog for me. Because just what I grew up on. Big ball right. So <laughs> let's talk about this musical. Super Dogs, the musical. What is the basic plot of this show? Basic plot is um, the story of a, a young girl named uh, Chloe that just arrived to Montreal with um, her dog Bear that she adopted, and they've always been curious and interested in the Super Dogs show and the world of Super Dogs, and they walk in in a theater, uh, a rehearsal hall, I should say, um, in the hope to be part of the show. So it's her journey as far as like trying to get her and her dog Bear um, be part of the Super Dogs. So as simple as that. <laughs> wow. And what what's the impetus for, for creating it? What, who came up with this concept and how did it come to be? I think from, you know, the, the time that I spent is, yeah. um, so Chase is the uh, the producer, Leonard Chase is the, uh, the producer and the creator of Super Dogs. And he always had this dream of writing musicals about the company that he's been doing because Super Dogs, the, the, the company has been touring for years and years and years across the country. And I think the States as well. Um, but he always had that dream of being part of, of making it a musical or at least incorporating his dogs into a musical. So I think during the pandemic early on or right before he partnered up with John Halpin, who uh, is a songwriter and based in Montreal as well. And they uh, decided to write a, a kid's a I, a musical for kids or family and pitched it to the seagull and lisa was like yes let's do let's do it so here we are uh, a few years later 
It's crazy because Siegel does a lot of new original different stuff because uh, I believe you were involved with uh, the sweater. Did I read that? Or I wasn't. I played for the audition, but I've been oh. around quite a lot. Okay. Um, but yeah, Hockey Sweater, um, uh, Belsar, obviously, yes. a few years ago. Um, Myth I mean, there's also a few shows that came from Europe, like uh, Mythic or Angel and Sparrow. So yeah, lots of new musicals happening here. Yeah, I, I love that fact that the, the single puts on new stuff and willing to take a... It is a bit of a risk to try yeah. something different. Of course, uh, putting on a show with dogs, isn't really that risky. <laughs> in, in it's, a different, that, it's a different kind of risk. <laughs> a different type of risk. Because getting people out to see that, how can you not want to come out to see that? Exactly. But as, as the music director and, and the band leader for the show, let's talk about the music itself. Now, so it's all original work then? Yes. So it's been a, a longer process, not longer, but so I've got, um, got con in touch. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, someone just walked in. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, the, the Seagull Center called me in July for uh, to work on this project. So since July, we've been working on, on shaping up the show. And it's it's been a shorter process than usual as far as creating a new show, um, because theaters have to, you know, come back on their feet or on their paws, as, as we like to say in the, in the rehearsal room, um, pretty quickly. So uh, the composer, John Halpin, wrote about seven songs and seven other uh, instrumental sections to cover any dog performances. So from there, um, the Siegel Center and I decided to bring on board uh, Chris Berlaro, who is a dear friend of mine, and he started working on orchestration and arrangements um, because I knew that going in, my focus would be, you know, in the, with the actors and, and the dogs so I, I asked my dear friend to help us on, on that front so for the past uh, three or four months we've been shaping up the, the show with orchestrations and vocal arrangements and, and all of that um, and we started a rehearsal a week ago and it's been non-stop just to, like, to, to shape it up and it's also different since the show is only 70 minutes, 70 minutes long it's you know a, a, a TYA show a theater for young audience so the rehearsal process is shorter um so yeah we go q to q on thursdays which is a bit wow <laughs> wow but we're, we're making it happen yeah it's happening that's incredible well congratulations mm -hmm. on being a part of this uh new thing it, it's, mm -hmm. it's so exciting to be a part of something new yeah. and, and with new music so how would you describe the type of music that's being played I would say it's uh, definitely pop oriented, um, but there's also a, a cool element of folk. So I would say folk pop, um, but uh, obviously very story led. Uh, the band is a key, a piano, drums, bass, guitar, and then a violin viola. Oh. So the little folk color might come also from the violin viola aspect of it. Um, but yeah, I think that's my short answer, pop, pop folk. <laughs> It's always a bit hard to pin it, For but sure. I, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's that's the style. That sounds very cool. That sounds like a really interesting um, musical eclecticness of uh, mm. for, yeah. for the for the thing. So you're in the rehearsal hall. The dogs mm -hmm. are in the rehearsal hall. What's that like? <laughs> How much time do you have? Well, actually, we, um, we're we very lucky because we have one trainer with her two dogs playing Bear, um, who is the lead dog. So we actually don't get to see the rest of the dogs until next week. So we've got two weeks with just the lead dog. Um, and then all the other dogs arrive um, next week so we can bring them in and do the bigger numbers because I think the logistics would be a bit wild um because fun fact there will be about eight dogs on stage during the show but every um every trainer of these dogs is also the owner which means that if the owner like they they arrive to the theater together and they leave the theater together but every owner and trainer has two or three dogs which means that when the trainer arrives to the, the trainers arrive to the theater we don't see eight dogs we see 24 dogs so there is 24 dogs in the bill there will be 24 dogs in the building every time the show is going on but we yeah. we're only going to see eight of them on stage so it's it's a double cast like we've never seen before <laughs> <laughs> under studies, so, of under studies. <laughs> absolutely and swings and yeah yeah, yeah. 
So right now we're only rehearsing with two dogs, which are double cast as the lead dog. <laughs> as funny as that can sound. <laughs> you find one of the dogs more of a diva than the other? Yes. Um, don't have to but say I won't, we don't want uh, to That's it. I was just going to say. I won't tell you who. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So is it easier to work with dogs than humans? Have you seen? Which which do you think it's harder to work with? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> no, it's easier with humans because obviously you can yeah. communicate. And especially with my job, like, yeah. you know, they, they, they sing. Whereas the, the dogs, um, sometimes I, I was trying to make the comparison between working with choreography and working mm -hmm. with dog choreography. Choreography will always be on like based on counts yeah. eight counts four counts of eight but with dogs it's all based on timing so like a minute long or 45 seconds long which that has been a big adjustment it's the the choreographer doesn't say hey we need eight counts of eight to you know of, of instrumental music yeah. the information that we get is more we need two minutes but two minutes from one performance to another can be dramatically different sure. So it's a lot of adjustments and a lot of vamping for us on stage. Um, so that's we're in the midst of figuring all of that out. So I, I'd say that's the biggest challenge right now. Wow. That, see, these things you don't even think about, right? It's so easy when with I, it's so easy with humans. Let's, okay, not always, but different. Yes, yes, yes. But I hear you. Yeah. But there's yeah, there's certain things you don't even think you have to Im implement into a show, and now you have to figure all that out. Yeah, it's definitely an extra element to keep in mind because we're always going to be on standby for something to happen because yeah. they're dogs. They don't <laughs> work the same way. If, you know, if, if something catches their attention in the audience, well, we need to adjust based on that. If uh, a dog doesn't do the... The uh, behavior were, were, you know, we call them behaviors, the show, the, the, the performance they do. Um, so if they take a bit more time, well, everyone needs to adjust based on that. Um, it's the same with humans, but not to the same extent, obviously. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so interesting. I, I, so when you, when you first walked into the hall, what was that like to sit there the first time and seeing these dogs and playing this new music? What's that, what was that like for you, yourself? I mean, dogs, no dogs. The first day of mus uh, music rehearsal or just singing through is always special. There's always something uh, magical about it. And uh, everyone's, you know, listening to each other, trying to blend. And, you know, there's something. The ears are so on, on fire on the first day. Everyone is yeah. so aware of everything. Um, but the as, um, as weird as it can sa sound, seeing a dog, your focus is entirely on the dog. There's something about, like, you're enthralled by it. Yeah. So obviously the focus is somewhere else now. Instead of being like, oh, let's focus purely on the music, half of our brain is music and the other half of the brain is what's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen with this dog? So that's definitely has been the, the, um, the adjustment as first to, you know, to be on the lookout of, yes, let's fo focus on music, but let's also check if you know the animal on stage is doing what we're asking asking them to so that is uh, yeah fascinating <laughs> I, I hope i can get a chance to get down there and see that because it will be like nothing you've seen before <laughs> <laughs> um so, so when you're when do you get when do you guys open you said in uh december 2nd is our opening night but we have our first preview november 29th which is so, soon. I yeah, know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's in two weeks. Yes. Wow. So yeah, yeah. that process process is truncated quite a bit. And... Is it ever? Yes. It's it's very quick. We only have five actors in the in the oh. cast, which obviously helps the workload of of, mm -hmm. of teaching the music and sure. choreography and all all of that. Um, but one thing that's also interesting is that because we don't get the dogs until next week, so we've got two weeks of blocking. Yeah. Half the show is scene and and songs but the other half is mostly dog performances behaviors so we're truly only rehearsing half hour a little bit more but yeah. about half the show right now because we don't have the dogs so our tech time is going to be really focused on those numbers which will be yes a busy busy week um for sure but right now we're only focusing mostly on on scenes and songs that's going to be an interesting cue to cue <laughs> like, oh yes 
<laughs> that will be an adjustment. So yeah, my musicians and I are ready to vamp like we've never done before. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. That's awesome. So um, how long does it run? Um, how do you get tickets and, and all that fun stuff? Uh, it runs from first preview is November 29th. Opening is December 2nd, and we close on December 19th, I believe, Sunday 19th, um, so three weeks. Um, and we uh, tickets can be obviously bought on the Siegel Center website. I believe it's SiegelCenter.org. <laughs> Let's double check that, but I think that's what it is. I'll promote um, it online, so we'll great. get that part right. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Um, so yeah, 24 performances, uh, weeknight uh, shows at 7 p.m., and daytime shows during the weekend. Nice. Is, is, it, is there any plans for a life after it? Um, do you know? Um, there's talks about it, uh, but that's all I know. I don't have much more information than that for now. <laughs> that, that would be an incredible yeah. tour. Like, I, that would be... Yeah, that that's their hope. That's their hope. But you know, with new musicals, anything can happen. You know, but uh, yeah, wouldn't complain about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, true. It works work, right? You can't complain. Exactly. On tour. So, yeah. what what one thing would you want us to surprise that for yourself when you when you started this process, or something to look forward to as for an audience? Just something that we should be ready for or surprised about. You know, just one special thing yeah well i think you know seeing when we see musicals we're used to seeing a band and actors but that element of having animals that are so well trained i it's incredible seeing them in there you know we we all have a relationship with an animal that we like but seeing those dogs they're athletes <laughs> as, as, as funny as that can sound i think it's seeing animals that are are at the top of their game <laughs> that is definitely a wow factor to to that's worth seeing uh, david thank you so much for coming on and, and my pleasure and, and you know letting people know about um super dogs the musical yeah it, i hope it does go on tour to be honest because i think lots of people would love to see this and, and be intrigued so. yeah and especially families and kids they all they're gonna have a blast Yes, yeah. absolutely. And Toronto's, thanks for having me. No problem. Toronto's just on the just on the road, you know. Just just six hours away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, thank you again, David, for, for talking to us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. No problem. We were just speaking with uh, David Terrio, the music director and band leader of the musical Super Dogs, the musical which is playing at the Siegel Center in Montreal, um, opening previews i believe that november 28th and then running to december 19th yes go to the seagull center website we'll post that on our social media and everything for everybody to check out uh tune in next week as we'll have another guest or guests we'll talk about their life love and passion that is musical theater i am your host as always jean paul yovanoff and until next time i'll see you when i see you <laughs>